What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a brand new Pez 2021 option file from Pez Universe. This is a V1 of the 24-25 season option file. So we're just going to take a quick look at this over in edit mode and then we're going to show you a bit of action on the pitch as well. And I'm going to explain how you get it and how to put it into your game, right? So as you can see here, there is two leagues fully updated. It is going to be the Premier League here and it is going to be the La Liga. So this is what's in V1. They also have a couple of the national teams as well. So you're going to have all the kits for the national teams. Um, you know, all the like the teams that can be edited. You're going to have the new kits there, such as France. So if you go into the strip here, you'll see that they have the new kits that France currently have at the moment. They would have played in the Euros with or whatever. And they've got updated stats, you know, game plan, all that to tie in. With Master League, if you are managing a, match, a national team as well. Now, I know the rest of the leagues are being worked on. The League 1, Serie A and Eredivisie, I think, are top priority. And then the Bundesliga as well. That is going to be worked on as well. Um, so, yeah, I will feed on any feedback you have from this as well. If you do download it and play it. And listen, Master League is probably a good bit away in eFootball. So, you can still play it in PES 21. You can see it's all updated squads. All the, all the kits uh, are going to be here as well. I think they have to fix some of the managers or whatever, but you can see all the kits here as well um, for the new season. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, I will play and have a little bit of content based on this as well. Um, for the teams that are going to be here, you will have pretty much everything set to go with all the transfers, all updated stats, updated, pretty much updated everything um, for the leagues that they've already done. Apart from some of the stuff, there will be obviously notes that they'll have on that as well. Um, so yeah, and then obviously, of course, you will have Mbappe at Real Madrid as well. Um, and all that in the game plan, you will have the game plan here with custom game plans for when they have possession, when they don't have possession, how they'll attack, how they'll set up. Um, and pretty much all the latest, like Endrick, all of these, Mbappe is obviously there as well, Bellingham, uh, all of these players are going to be upgraded. They'll have new play styles, new stats, new ways of... Um, Obviously, you know, playing on the pitch and then, of course, the new kits as well for the new season. So, yeah, I mean, listen, you can see here we have a couple of images here on the screen that you're that you're going to see here um, of the PES 2021. And again, there is some stuff that they still need to work on squad numbers, the rest of the leagues and all that will be be throughout the year. I'll just let that play through there as it's going before we go over onto a match here. Um, and I'm going to show you. So to actually download this, you need to go over to the website and get it. And then you once you have it on your USB, you will just pop it on here to your USB, put your USB on. Um, there will be instructions on their side, obviously, as well. And then, you know, you will just go into edit mode. You're just going to click on edit. And this is a bit of a tutorial as well, I suppose, on it and a showcase. You're going to go down here to import, export. Make sure that you don't have anything in your bo in your your images here. So if you do, you can go into delete images here and delete whatever you had. If you use the last season option file or if you use some something else before or if you don't have this, but it should be empty. You don't need to do a fresh install or anything like that. But then you're just going to go to import team. And you're basically going to click every box here of every team that you see. So all of these are going to be clicked here. Um, they might be named a little bit slightly, a little bit different because this is obviously a preview build of it that they've sent me. Um, but you, once you tick all these boxes, go to detail settings and you're going to tick this box up at the top. Um, if you want, obviously, all the player and squad data. And then you can go from there and that'll go. that's going to install everything for you that you see here. As I said, it's two leagues um, that you're going to get, right? So let's go over and I'm going to show you at the pit, on the pitch here. Right, so we're over on the team selection here, and we have the two leagues, the Premier and La Liga. And say we want to go Arsenal versus Real Madrid. Arsenal are actually licensed in the game, so the only kit that you can add is the four-choice kit that you see here, which is going to be their brand new home kit. Whereas for Real Madrid, a team that don't, you know, aren't licensed in the team or in the game, you can do, you know, all the kits on this team here. So you'll have the home, away, and the third, and then the goalkeeper is updated as well with all the new fonts, the lettering, all of that stuff. Obviously, PS5. Uh, and Xbox, you can't do it on Xbox, but PS5 is a little bit more limited than PC. Um, but these are going to be the older season kits just because you can't change them. Now, that isn't an issue for the likes of uh, other Premier League teams like Man City uh, or any of those. Like if you go in here to City or even Leicester or any of those teams into City there, um, you'll have the same thing. Because Barcelona are now licensed, there are, their fifth kit there is going to be a classic one, but the fourth kit is going to be the current home one, whereas Man City are going to have all their kits. So if you do see like, oh, City, you know, have all their kits, but Barcelona don't, it's only because the teams are licensed. So there's, there's a handful of teams that are licensed in the game. Um, but other than that, lads, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You've got all the new teams, you've got all the the teams that have got relegated, and you know, obviously, the likes of Leicester there or Ipswich Town, um, they're up um, from you know from the second division in England from the Skybet or the the EPL. So um, 
or yeah, the Football League. And then you also have, you know, all the new transfers and all that. So you can see there that Julian Alvarez is going to be in the squad um, with all the new kits. David up to date with Calvin Phillips, who just signed there as well. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much these transfers will be done up until... Uh, you know, deadline day. So I think there's going to be another update next week um, and then on continuously on adding leagues from what they've said. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, this is now a five-year-old game. So um, shout out to the boys for doing all the editing. Obviously, it's a it's a huge effort throughout the year um, and it's a lot of work. As the game gets older, you need to create more and more players and more and more stats. So it's literally hundreds of hours. Um, but yeah, I will probably do, honestly, lads, I will probably do some PES 2021 content. Um, I might do like a Master League or something. Let me know if you guys would like to see a specific team or a specific journey. Um, and we can kind of go through it fairly quickly, you know? Um it will be a bit of fun, man. It'll be a bit of fun. I do like the fact that you can obviously, you know, add the kits or whatever um, and see all the options that you have here with the new squads. It is fun to just kind of buy players and sell players and stuff like that throughout the season. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And other than that, let me know if you're interested in PES 2021 anymore. Or are you all just gung-ho for eFootball? But that is a little tutorial, a little showcase. And uh, we'll be back with V2 very, very soon where they'll add more leagues and they'll have more transfers done up to date as the transfer window winds down. So that is it for me. I will talk to you in a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like some PES 2021 content, some Master League content. Until next time, peace.